How do archaeologists tell time? For example, how do we know when we have a Vasquez de Coronado site rather than a site related to someone else? How can we be sure that the artifacts said to be indicative of 1540 are, in fact, so? An effective way to explain this is to compare what's found on a Coronado site to a modern example. Most people are aware of the change in can tops or pop tops through time, and by looking at these changes through recent history and the character of pop tops, it's possible to see the progression through time that allows us to know precisely the date span during which that can or pop top was manufactured. The same kind of distinction can be easily made between 1970 and 1870 in the types of clothing that people wore. No one would confuse the 1970s leisure suit or go-go boots and hot pants with the more conservative attire of the Victorian age in the 1870s. This is how we see change in archaeological terms. Trends leave physical and material residues or evidence. The same type of changes occurred in and since the early modern period, when Coronado passed through our region. For example, in 1540, the beginning of the Renaissance period, crossbows were on their way out. They were being replaced with more efficient and modern weapons. While crossbows were used on the Coronado expedition, experts have noted that they were obsolete by the time the expedition ended. People may have used them for a while after, but not after the turn of the century, which is the next time anyone of note entered southern Arizona. We know crossbows were used on the Coronado expedition because we see crossbows listed on the muster roll. Moreover, the distinctive arrow or bolt heads have been found on verified Coronado sites in New Mexico and Texas. But after this expedition, they were no longer in widespread use and were therefore not used after the turn of the century. Therefore, we should not find crossbow bolt heads in later sites. No other official large-scale expeditions are known to have come through Arizona before Coronado or after, that is, until perhaps the 1680s, but definitely the 1690s when Spanish soldiers and Father Kino began entering the area. In neighboring New Mexico, this clarity of issue is confused by the fact that shortly after Coronado and before the turn of the 17th century, several expeditions traveled along the Rio Grande, which makes it sometimes difficult to distinguish Coronado from other later 16th century Spaniards. In southern Arizona, we do not have that issue because no other official expeditions occurred here. Only official expeditions were allowed by the King of Spain. Evidence from this site indicates that this was a huge group of people consistent with documentary sources. Judging from what has been found, it was also a well-funded expedition, and so there's no doubt it was an official expedition. As noted, this is the only large expedition of the time in this area. Three notable smaller trips are considered scouting parties by historians and thus earlier extensions of Coronado's expedition. Fray Marcos de Niza the year before was part of a much smaller group and without the weapons, horses, and pack animals of the 1540 expedition. Melchor Diaz was sent north through this area to verify the findings of Fray Marcos, but his party was also small, as was his journey to the Colorado River. Each of these would have left a much lighter imprint with fewer artifacts covering a much smaller area. In this video, I have discussed how the physical traces a group leaves behind will reflect a specific period of time. A fair degree of precision can result from the careful study of artifacts from a site and matching them to the period in which they were made and used. For the Coronado expedition, there were a number of items that were specific to the time of the journey and that do not occur later in time. One of these is the copper crossbow bolt head. Finding these bolt heads and other equally diagnostic or characteristic artifacts in considerable quantities is proof that the 1540 expedition was at this site for a significant encounter. These cannot be accounted for by any other identifiable process. The sheer preponderance and consistency of the artifact assemblage and 
the spatial array of the evidence at this sizable archaeological site is solid evidence of a substantial mid-16th century presence, and that would be Coronado.